This was the online persona of Vladislav Horohorin, one of the most prolific credit card hackers ever apprehended. His nickname was Bad B, and he used cartoons like this to promote his product, stolen credit card data. The U.S. Justice Department says he helped steal more than $9 million from an Atlanta-based credit card processor. I contacted Mr. Horohorin in prison and received this email. I asked him if he had acted out of patriotism for his native land. In response, he told me, quote, he had never been a big patriot of something, including Russia, but being there gave him the opportunities and resources he needed. And crucially, he said, it provided him with more freedom and less boundaries there. With a little more than two years left to serve, freedom is clearly on his mind. At an office on New York's Madison Avenue, I met with the attorney who defended Bad B, Arkady Buch. The conviction was for attack uh, on, on American banks. Uh, the damage was a few hundred thousand credit card numbers. Born in what was then the Soviet Union, he has defended some very high-profile Russian hacking cases brought to court in the U.S. They understand that United States and West is is enemy, and this is not, and this is not a crime, at least moral crime, to hurt the enemy. So, do they see themselves as some type of soldier in a way? Absolutely, absolutely. He says Mr. Horohorin fits the bill of a typical Russian hacker. First of all, educated. We talk about at least bachelor's degree, master's degree often. They're not from the poor families, definitely. I mean, to have access to high-speed internet, you have to be at least from middle class. And I'm just curious, you're, you're Russian-American. What do you make of this kind of Russia versus United States cyber crime that's going on? Does it make you sad? Well, this is the reality, and uh, I mean, some call it continuation of Cold War. Interestingly, the inmate is more optimistic than the attorney. At the end of his email, he says when he gets out of jail, he has some brilliant ideas and the resources to implement them. He emphasizes they will be legal this time. Samuel Burke, CNN, New York.